Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about Eros and Libra in a natal chart. Now, Eros in astrology can be connected with a uh, powerful sexual attraction. What we might, that kind of astrological energy, we may have a powerful, near unconquerable sexual attraction to. And given that we're talking about Libra, uh, people that have this placement may have uh, find. Uh, someone very uh, charming, uh, maybe sexually, they might be powerfully uh, sexually attracted to someone that is very charming, diplomatic, refined, um, graceful mannerisms, a person that's very uh, elegant, maybe has good uh, powers of persuasion, very cordial, friendly, uh, tactful, diplomatic kind of person, a person that's well-mannered, uh, somebody that's very sociable, that's willing to ingratiate themselves with others, a person that might have an affinity for art, be very artistic, and have a very sweet uh, quality about them, they exhibit some kind of sweetness in their nature. Now, this could be uh, this could be somebody that could be a Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant person, or simply one that embodies Libra characteristics. Now, let's say uh, as far as like synastry goes, let's say you have your Eros in your natal chart in Libra and it's conjunct the person's ascendant. Well, this could really reinforce and confer more of a physical uh, connection. You might be attracted to the phys very strongly attracted to the physical appearance, the outer beauty of this person. Libra rising can often be very attracted, have very balanced features. Uh, really uh, somebody that might Libra rising often is slender in build and very elegantly formed. Let's say if this is the uh, the Sun you might be feel more of that connection with the basic character of the person but physical to some degree because the Sun can be connected with the physical body to some degree but it's not but as but the ascendant is what is going to dominate uh, the appearance. And it could be where you're connected more with the basic character of the person if your Eros is conjunct the other person's sun. Now, if it's conjunct the other person's moon, it could be more on an unconscious, subconscious level that you're drawn to this person and, and what really you find this person very uh, alluring. So anyway, now, also, Eros in astrology could be very extremist. And when I say this, it could be, again, going back to a person we might have a very powerful, near unconquerable sexual attraction for, but it could also reflect the kind of person that might uh, that might really turn us off in some cases, be uh, rebuffed by that we might actually strongly uh, repudiate or flat out reject now. And a lot of that, of course, could be predicated in dependent on other elements in your chart in terms of those elements being compatible with Libra like energy I mean uh, so anyway uh, this could be a person that might be really turned off by either by people that exhibit like a superficial charm or only are willing to see the outer beauty of a person and not being will willing to go a little bit uh, deeper uh, this is uh, this could be also too uh, where you might be exceptionally turned off by a uh, somebody's ambivalence, indecisive quality, or a person that's being like an excessive socialite, uh, so to speak, a person that might be overly uh, sociable. I mean, let's say you have your sun, moon, or ascendant in the zodiac sign Cancer. Cancer, of course, could be very introverted, introspective, and dominated by their home-related matters. This could be something where even if you feel this powerful sexual attraction, this kind of person, you might be very incompatible compatible on other ways and at some point you might be turned off and uh, rebuffed by these qualities Libra like qualities of the person now um, and also to uh, this could be uh, going uh, going uh, further into this Eros in astrology can also be 
somebody um, I mean you talk about eros in astrology can be connected with fair with creative energy and ability now given that we're talking about the zodiac sign Libra well I'm being somewhat flippant in this but it can maybe drew maybe scale design if you're a person that works in scales you might have a very strong uh, creative ability for that uh, scales can be associated with the zodiac sign Libra and also even uh, art especially now let's say I mean this could be and of course art can cover a wide divergence of things uh, let's say you have uh, I mean this could be sculpting drawing graphic art interior uh, designing let's say you have this uh, in your uh, 12th house even though the third house is mobility this could be if you have this in the third house it could be somebody that might be uh have a very strong affinity for like animated art or uh or even like say if you have this in the 12th house you might be will you might be very uh, willing to do something artistic and then show it through uh videos uh to people whether it could be through animation as an example or simply just displaying your artistic ability um, like such as teaching people how to draw for example through videos like YouTube videos uh, could be a person that might have very strong creative ability for interior decoration and also uh, even maybe in matters with compromise and things associated with beauty um, somebody if you're like a cause you're working in cosmetology or whatever they cause if you work with cosmetics and 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 beauty or you're like a makeup artist or, or designer you could be somebody that might bring a lot of create incorporate a lot of creativity into this could also be a person I mean Libra can be associated with the law so if you're somebody that might design uh, games whether it's video or it's board games you might be somebody that might have an affinity for designing like legal type games like a law and order SVU uh, uh, board game if you have this in the fifth house especially because the fifth house is what's connected with games so anyway now eros in astrology can also be associated with what one may have a very powerful exuberance and enthusiasm for given that this is uh in libra you might be somebody that has a very strong exuberance and enthusiasm for balance games like uh playing uh jenga or doing or playing some kind of sport that requires where balance is really imperative like playing tennis or uh gymnastics interestingly enough many of you may know uh renowned uh tennis players the Williams sisters uh Venus and Serena both have Libra prominent in their chart Serena has the Sun in Lib Libra and Venus has uh Libra rising uh ironically enough with the first name Venus but anyway now uh it could also be a person that might show a lot of passion enthusiasm and exuberance for negotiation compromise matters with arbitration and even matters with marriage and doing things where you're collaborating with others on things and this could be especially reinforced and emphasized say if you have this in the seventh house of partnership uh it could be a person that might have put a lot of uh enthusiasm and exuberance into finding peace uh tranquility matters connected with beauty whether it could be through fashion design or making oneself appear more attractive uh matters with socializing exchanging ideas bouncing ideas off one another this is where a lot of exuberance and enthusiasm and passion may be injected into now another thing uh with, with this too let's take an example as far as an aspect goes let's say uh for example somebody has uh eros in libra and it makes an adverse aspect to their uh natal pluto uh this could be a person that may um that might be a, somebody that sues compulsively because remember that libra and have or i should say a very strong enthusiasm for for suing nearly compulsively uh per, because keep in mind pluto can be com connected with things that are compulsive and obsessive and libra is associated with legalities uh it might be somebody that might be uh that might be somebody that is a relationship destroyer in some cases but this could be very isolated and a minuscule 
Now, another example, let's say somebody has Eros in Libra and it makes a sextile or trying to their natal Mercury. This could be a person that has a very strong ability to articulate and communicate the, these things that I uh, describe, whether it's the powerful, uh, the, the, the energy that the person has the powerful sexual attraction to, and also uh, in, in the things that they have that creative energy and ability for, and the person might have affinity for writing about those things, such as things of an artistic nature, whether it could be drawing or graphic art design, and matters connected with the law and legalities arbitration as some examples. So, anyway, or the things that they might have a powerful enthusiasm and exuberance for, again, such as art, arbitration, uh, matters with compromise, uh, tennis, gymnastics, that, that kind of thing. And if you have this in your third house, this could be where you might put a lot of creative energy into writing something that is Libra related. Again, some examples such as tennis, gymnastics, the law, uh, beauty, art, uh, compromise, relationships. Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, people, Edwin Leonard saying stay well.